All right, we're sitting here waiting for the truck to warm up, and while we're doing that, I'm gonna give you guys my opinion on McNabs. Now, <clears throat> I'd always heard that, you know, McNabs were grittier and, and tougher than Border Collies, and they had more bite, and blah, blah, blah. And when I finally seen some, boy, was I disappointed. Uh, they, they did a lot of chasing, a lot of barking, a lot of slash biting. Um, when they were brought face to face with an animal, that, they'd sell out. Uh, now these are just the ones that I seen. I, I mean, I've talked to guys and they, you know, they said that they had good ones, but the ones I seen, uh, you know, they they are not for me. Um, some guys like them. Uh, I don't think very many guys are are breeding them for. I don't think they're breeding them in a way to better them. I mean, there's probably a few guys are. But a lot of people are going off of the McNabb name, and they're probably no better than than paper breeders, you know, uh, in my opinion. A um, little history on the McNabb. Uh, Mr. McNabb went over to Scotland, got a Scotch Collie, brought it back, bred that to a Bass Shepherd, and through line breeding came up with the McNabb. Uh, also, like the Australian Shepherd, uh, they, they were that breed was made in California. Um, a lot of guys in California are still pretty high on them. Um, I just I haven't I've never seen a good one. I'm not saying there isn't one. I just haven't seen one, and I've seen a lot of dogs. I've had them here for training, and that's why I say the ones that I've seen aren't for me. But that's my take on McNabs. Thanks, guys.